Salams everyone. Uh, today we're here with Miss Latifa Chirakdin, who is a writer and an author of the book uh, The Life Journey of a Swahili Scholar, Shihabdin Chirakdin. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Asante. So, who is the Swahili? First of all, let me just say, the uh, Swahili are multi matrilineal. Uh, they count the pedigree on the mother's side. And uh, secondly, a Swahili, um, Swahili is a very complex, complex subject. Or is, is a person, um, Swahili is a very complex being. Saying that, uh, it's because uh, one of the reasons uh, the Swahilis have been uh, difficult to categorize racially is because uh, they've uh, intermarried, first of all, through, yes. through, through years and generations have come by. Yeah. So it's, it's not really easy to pinpoint it a pure indigenous Swahili, but they are there. The f because of counting themselves on the mother's side, that's why they keep repeating themselves, saying that they're Swahilis. That's the first question a Swahili mother would ask somebody, Mamako ni nani? And then they would refer to the, the, to the paternal side. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, all in all, uh, uh, point, pinpointing as to who I'm um, Swahili is exactly is not easy and not it's not easy but it's it's not even hard uh, fact that Swahilis if you if you ask me where are the Swahilis found yeah. uh, the word Swahili first of all comes from uh, Sahel which is an Arabic word but it got corrupted Na Baswahili walikuwa wakitukua mamboyo yote mengine wanaochukua the corrupted mm. eh, to for the comfort of the foreigners and then themselves kwa mm. they are very generous people uh, because walikuwa uh, wakipenda ku interact na watu sana and them being traders and manake uh, by the coast they received many visitors and they intermarried mm. but however as we said from the beginning they are there are people who had been there mm. but as uh, one of the professors had said uh, professor Nani Ahmad Nabhani mm. the late Nabhani he sort of uh, classified uh, the Swahilis into three categories mm. you have the indigenous who are baba na mama mm. yeah about they have to be from the coast yes uh, speaking the language uh, adapting to the culture, I mean, they're into the culture and heritage. Mamboyote like Swahili. And then we have the honorary, Amba, who are non Swahilis, but they've come by to the coast and they lived by the coastal cu culture. Mm. And then we have the adopted ones, yeah. Yeah, who are foreigners who've married into the Swahili families or units of the, of the Swahili yes. tribes yeah. and all that. And they produce the byproduct uh, Swahilis, of course, yeah. despite the fact that my, uh, fathers, uh, 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 the fathers are foreigners, but they're still regarded as Swahilis. So being um, Swahili, uh, one for one to be um, Swahili, you need to have some characteristics as to be identified as who um, Swahili is. Yeah. Number one, and that's the most important part you need to be they, they follow a, a religion which is yeah. their faith which is islam and secondly they have the cuisines predominantly they have, they predomin they're predominantly muslim but yeah. we've evolved and we've taken in more yeah. uh, uh, just like the 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 the, the, the the, I, I won't call them by that, uh, by, uh, by that name, but I'll say that the people who have been taken from Nawa, uh, Malawi yes. and on their way to, it's either they reached India or they were halfway there and they were taken and brought back here to yes. Africa. But instead of being taken back to Malawi, mm -hmm. uh, they were brought to Mombasa in a place where uh, Swahili gave them a, a, a land to to live uh, to live on here in Mombasa. Yes, yes, yes. and that's the, the the place is Freetown. Now those people when they came in, they were not Muslims. 
they, 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 so they had some sort of faith. Uh, either it was uh, the, the, the Christianity or it was just a, a, a local uh, nini, beliefs, yeah. beliefs. They adapted to the Swahili way because they found people already with a culture, with a trad uh, heritage and they had traditions. Mm. Yeah. So they remained Christians, but then they adopted into Well, the some of them, culture. some of them did change uh, to, to become Muslims, uh, but some of them uh, just went on with whatever beliefs they may have had. The and some of them, the mostly they, 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 were, they were sort of influenced by, by the Christian faith. Yeah. But they took in the traditions and cultures of Waswahili. Mm. Ukienda kwa watu wa Freetown sana utawakuta wa wana matanga yao similar to what the Swahili's uh, eh, have. Eh, wana harusi zao pia vile vile kama wa Swahili vile vile. Mavazi yao ya leso. Leso is uh, ni, uh, ni kivazi la wa Swahili kutoka time immemorial. Manaki tunaona mabibi zetu, tunaona na mabibi zao, ushaona. So, so, like, in, with, with time, Pia, so many th the trend uh, changes. I mean, from, from uh, the attire of the people and, uh, and uh, the way they speak, the speech. Manaki, if we are to speak, are we bringing somebody who speaks the Swahili, the actual Swahili itself, to Hatutom Fahamu Mina Baby? Maybe here and there we can pick uh, uh, snippets. So, as a language, we also evolved. We have. And we adapt to the hiyo, Actually, it's, it's not to the, uh, the, the uh, uh, wanting and, and the authority from the Swahilis themselves. He, it came about when the British colonials came in. Yes. Sasa, they, when they came in, uh, they, they found a ready-made language. Uh, they found a people who are, who, who are already well into uh, trade and, 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 and a lifestyle. States. Yes, yeah. and, and they were in city-states. They lived in city-states, as I said. Uh, Sasa, so, so to make it comfortable for him, manake, he had to choose a language. Kwa sababu antaka kutawala. So he had to choose a language. Mm. And the Swahili, Swahili was the most, manake... Common. Co no, it was friendlier to the tongue ah, so than the other yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah it's user friendly if you like yes. uh, so he chose that but he, he, he sort of taught it to what he, 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 he understood from his perspective because mm. his standard it came about being standardized by the colonialists yeah. Ushauna. So the actual, without going back to the Swahilis and authenticating the standard Swahili but then it was, it, 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 it became sort of easier for many people to use the standard yeah. Swahili as opposed to using the, 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 uh, the archaic one, yes. the, the old Swahili, yes. which is very difficult and you need to tambo manake. Uh, along the coastal area, manake is, uh, as we said, they lived in city states, was Swahili. If uh, I may ask for the city states, from which, uh, Starting point. Uh, From which Swahili area to what area is, the Swa most yeah, known? Yeah, ones. yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow. Swahili's actually the Swahili's were or are to be found yeah. uh, uh, from Kismayu, further north, according to the scholars, yeah. to the south, which is in okay. northern Mozambique. They they yeah. speak some sort of uh, Swahili. Uh, now each 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 each. A, a state uh, speaks its own dialect, dialect and you yes. have the adjacent uh, islands which are the Indian Ocean Islands which the are Comoros adjacent to the yeah, others, Zanzibar, yeah. Pemba, uh, you Pemba, you have the, 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 the Pat and the Lamu yes. which were mm. the old kingdoms which came down to but these were kingdoms all along, they had kingdoms. Uh, you'd find any place with a fort and sort of some sort of ruins. These are the kingdoms and settlements of the old Swahili people. But uh, uh, be because of them being generous, Walipokia uh, wageni wingi. Now, for one reason of the or, or the other, I don't know. I would say while well, foreigners they came in back on a very conducive uh, strip of land and because they could trade uh, then as a man it's all about conquering lands yeah, yeah. it's not really about uh, educating it's just conquering lands and having and extracting more wealth from 
wherever they may have conquered. Yeah. He says it became sort of uh, a base, if you like, Yahaba conquerors. Uh, before then, if we, if, if we go back in time, uh, they say uh, 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 the Queen of Sheba at one time ruled these states. Belkis. Belkis, yeah. 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 Uh, she ruled these states. And when they came in, they did find people. And who are these people? Mm. It's definitely the Waswahili, Ushauna. Yeah. So, so we evolved with time. We evolved with time. We took in, I mean, Utapata Mswahili anzaliwa nam China, Utapata nam Swahili anzaliwa nam Portuguese, Utapata Mswahili anzaliwa nam Hindi, and so forth. Kisha, in later years, as we came into the uh, 19th, 20th century, and so forth, up to now, We've taken it, uh, the, 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 the people from the hinterland who've been Swahili, uh, Swahili uh, uh, who become Swahili, if, if you like. Yeah? But uh, if, if I may interrupt you there, um, what about the school of thought uh, that says that the Swahili are exclusively a product of Mijikenda and the foreigners that came in, we eat the Arabs, the Indians? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying, uh, the Swahilis, uh, because it was easier for somebody to just say uh, that uh, they, they couldn't really place where uh, I'm Swahili. Mm. Uh, when the Portuguese came in, they thought us to be Moors, mm. uh, just like what they found on, the, on, on North Africa. Mm. Yeah, or Naona, Wakilpokujahuku, they found people with similarities to, to, to North yeah. Africa, Kule, Kwe Maghrib. So they thought us to be Moors. While Wakawaita ni white Moors, Sisi to Kaitani black Moors, because mm. of being on the, on the eastern side. Yeah. However, as we went along, Manaki to cover to our to our Oleva, to Zaliba, and our Twengini, Sasa, you can't. You, you can't claim kuwa am Swahili is, is, is a Mijikenda in an Arab per se. Kulkwana so many before the Mijikenda came in mm. and they were in the hinterland, they used to, they were, they, they were to be found in the Nika Plateau. Yeah? yeah. So they came down, Manake Zamani kulkwana a lot of migration taking place for one reason or the other. Either it's the wars or the diseases. But they didn't the, uh, they didn't come down and lit until much later in time. Much later, yeah. well most probably maybe in the in, in the late nineteenth uh, century or mid somewhere there yeah. to up to now Manake they had to move down. Nakisha Swahili is being a minority, Walikwa they were liable to so many attacks from 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 from, from foreigners. I think we're still a minority. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> we, we, you, Sasando, we are diluted. Ushaona, we you can't really place who I'm Swahili is. Come on, Mimi, if I take my example, Ushaona, I, I won't go into others. Man, okay. uh, Babu Yangu was from 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 Asia. Yeah, direct. Babu Yangu was from Asia. Kajahapa akapata Swahili akamuova. Manake I would say I'm Swahili. Kwa sababu wa Swahili ni anywhere between Kismayu and, and Mzombe. Mm -hmm. Lakini akapata, akapata Mswahili akamuova. Wale watoto wakakuzwa kwenye Swahili. Being a Mswahili is a practicing. You have, as I said, you need to have some sort of characteristics. The, uh, you speak that language. Yeah. Yeah. And we can tell Akijamtu from, from, from Lamu or, or from the islands, Kuleju, Akizungumza Utajua uyu mtu atoka wapi. Tuajua na venye wa Swahili lezi kwa, kwa dialect. So there isn't one Swahili dialect like for I would everybody. say we have about 15 or maybe more Swahili dialects if you take it from, from, from Kismayu going down to, to Mozambique and the in the adjacent uh, so kile chulcho soma sisi kiswahili tukambo in kiswahili sanifu do is it does it, well, does it the, mean the, the, the rest of the swahili dialects don't count and that's the only I, correct I, version not really but as i said earlier yeah. kuwa alipokuja mwengereza mm. eh alikuwa tafuta lugha out of so many lugas alozisikia lakini swahili was friendlier to his tongue mm. So akaona, I'm going to use it, but on my terms, mm. ushona. Mm. Na kama livo kuambia tukiletua mtu ambaya sema kiswahili kilechakale, yeah. we will not understand. Mm. 
ushaona sasa hii standard uh, aka standardize as they say he standardized the, the language uh, according to his uh, nini manake take ile manake i i can understand it like this and it's easier for me to speak it this yeah. way eh aka standard na he went inside mind you manake swahili is wa traders and they had caravans going to the hinterland they went as far as maybe ethiopia and further inland yeah. so utaona his migrations the people going in and coming out wengine wakileta wake already from the hinterland so they married they are not necessarily the majikenda some of them were married to ethiopians and they came down with them so even the culture gets combined with yes like in the beauty about waswahili eh they did not really relinquish the cultures and the and, and, and the traditions they blended other cultures mm. to make them their own as i said they corrupted everything mm. it's not that they did not have theirs but they sort of compared nkitanganya hii na hii nitapata hii for example biryani ya muhindi i'm good at saying that <laughs> biryani ya muhindi yeah. Lakini ilipokuja kwa mswahili akai corrupt. It's tastier than ya muhimu. I'm <laughs> not saying that sasa. kwa sababu ya but it's yeah. the truth. Haya mikate. Ushaona. Maana kini small small things. Hasa alafu you take the, the the architecture and the infrastructure. Walikuja they found manaki some sort of dwellings hapa. We can see from the ruins as well. Yeah, Mumbai hapa ruins. hapa Mombasa yeah. if you go manaki you you you, you go ukiona swahili house yeah. ushaona yeah. zile windows pia ukitizama ni more or less like indian nini sasa hizi maybe kwa sababu wale wahindi walipokuja wakaona na hawa wa swahili bana so, kuna similarities yes. waka sort of uh, sort of redesign the nini, architectural products to, to suit the climate hapa ushaona ambapo more or less we share the same climate with, with the indians eh, sema sisi tuko further down ambao zetu zi, they are a little bit more extreme because of the heat yeah. hasa there's wisdom behind the swahili homes ushaona na as i said walikuwa ni predominantly muslims zile nyumba zao for some reason they faced north kwa sababu that's the direction they are facing when they are praying yeah. I love we would find that we have a lot of um, uh, local products ambao kwa wahindi when they came in wakaona ambao ni kuna ready made products so how when you say kwa hakuna waswahili wajua we, we learned from from each other our wa foreigners walo kuja walitufunza and we learned from them like we took in a lot and he said so it wasn't really a clash of cultures but it was a blend a blending of cultures and also in terms of the language we had our language but when uh, the each time we got foreign as we incorpor incorporated yeah. some of their words into our language so it's not that uh, we are just a language but mm. we are a people with a language yeah. and a culture in our own heritage oh, yes. as well oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. it's just like the english if i may say so but like uh, the shakespearean english is not what the, it's not the english they speak now yes of course sababu they took in a lot of words from the from the latin and now to, to, to it's all over when and when they conquered places they sort of took in words mm. so it's same same with swahilis even um, their numbers they started with the roman, roman yeah, yeah 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 lakini with swahilis alphabets zetu going way back tuntukwa kama kama waingereza what we are using now is roman mm. uh, it's it's not english per se it's it's, it's roman and same same with swahilis manake they had some form of, of an alphabet and yes. they used arabic yeah. asa muarabu kimwandikia kile kiswahili i mean tuka use alphabets zile yeah. lakini tukaandika kwa kiswahili harufu za kiarabu lakini yeah, kiswahili lakini hatu hatofahamu yeah. hatofahamu yeah. where is am swahili as i said beauty yake is and corrupt and to so many things to 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 their advantage aweza kusoma kiarabu so we are smart actually well if we if we are cor corrupting or incorporating not really kwa sababu yeah. ni talents zile ni talents na each place i would say kun mungu ambapa kipawa chake sasa waswahili the one of the talents ni hiyo ushaona alafu another talent is speaking Mswahili yoyote ndio utaona we mtu kisasa pia wasema sana kama mswahili wewe. Yeah. Lakini don't, don't don't be offended uh, no, don't take that as an insult. 
take that as a compliment yeah. kwa sababu waswahili wazungumza and they are sweet talkers eh, they may use satire some they jest a lot pia like it's just to the advantage yeah. kwa sababu wao they came into contact with so many people so they had to use that to their advantage yes. ushaona ku yeah. either in trading au katika competition ya mashairi na sana sana wao they use they were very poetic mpaka sasa they use poems when they are relaying a sentiment of some sort and even our history has been passed along through all oral uh, literature as well oh yes yeah. oh yes kwa sababu it's not that they had no archived records they did have those but however uh, during the reign of the portuguese yeah. when they came in manake before that i, I believe they were okay they had the records and uh, na sana sana ni folkloric uh, anecdotes walo kwa kito wa ki pass down but however manake walikuwa na walikuwa na madrasa zile ambazo kwa it's, they, they, they did not just concentrate on religion but the but the histories of of, uh, of the of the, uh, the habitats and the areas and, and the forefathers and the history uh, incorporating it with the history of, of the religion and all utamaduni so here wanini kitu ambacho they've had it for years ushona poetry na up to now man asijuka mambasa bado kuna watu ambao they, they can write poetry but they are, i don't know if they're as fluent as the people in lamu and and, and further north kule kwa sababu they still use it kisha these uh, nini they used it hata wakati wa na it was more so wakati wa portuguese reign when the portuguese came in and destroyed all the archived records manake they did not want them to have this but they spoke they did the oral li- literature ushona na there's a word in english ambao you use it's a, well they, they spoke in riddles if you like manake kwa kiswahili utasema kihunzi ushona so that the other person or the foreigner would not understand what they are trying to you know communicate yes. yeah yes. Uh, and especially during the uh, portuguese reign uh, while Pokwa, they were calling in reinforcement there's that particular oh, poem. The song. Yeah, yeah it, it is yeah. not really a, po- uh, a song but it's it's a it's 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 a poem which turned into a song about sisi utotoni pia tukaba twafundishwa kuimba so if i may just quote that uh, uh, the walikuwa wakipata na hizi reinforcement as you said eh walitukua pia reinforcement from people of the hinterland kama wa mijikenda hawa na they went into calling the omanis lakini wao wenyewe sasa when they were trying to signal one another kuwa eh, we need to get ready we need to prepare we need yes. to do this yes. There's a song about they, they used to sing wakifanya kama ni ni mzaha wa watoto eh, wateza eh, manake they, wasielewe what is wasiele, going on eh. so they used to say kibuzi kibuzi mani mani kibuzi ni ni, ni mtoto wa mbuzi i mean a kid eh, a got kid yule alafu yule akisemi yule the other one would would, would uh, sort of uh, reply as meme meme ushaona eh, meme me, 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 me. <laughs> sasa hiyo sasa are yeah. you there eh. i'm trying to tell you something mm. that's how they spoke and then yule mwenye kusema kibuzi mwenye kuita atasema uh, mwanambuzi yani mimi mtoto wa mbuzi i'm the kid uh, good uh, kaamba says eh kamwambie ukisema kwa Kiswahili cha ki cha kizamani atasema kamwambile mtunga watu sasa Kiswahili standard is mchunga so mchunga pia ni it's a, some sort of a plant yeah. but yenye uh, waswahili kwa mvita akisema mtunga so akimwambia dasipia bado tunai eh we yeah. ile dialect ha, eh, eh. So, so, but sasa da, 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 wa Kiswahili wa Mombasa ulimi wao mwepesi kuigiza mtu yoyote unlike the Zanzibaris ama watu wa huku north when they talk always kumuigiza mtu wa mvita kwa sababu tuna tata ile we can really you know imitate anybody ushaona so akamwambia akamwambile mtunga ama ni go and tell the shepherd eh, deke deke malenga atizami atizami malenga kwa those people around eh, huku simba karegea 
eh, bale manake whoever it is where they were referring to ni Simba amerudi manake si Simba always attacks the 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 ni mbuzi the habibos eh. sasa arejea <laughs> karegea kongwe kuregea kongwe meaning the fort so they were referring to the the, the, the Portuguese. Yeah. Yeah. Portuguese are the coming Portuguese. back. Yeah. So Simba would be the Portuguese. Uh, well, I believe mm. so. Manake waliposema karegia Kongwe, it's definitely the the, the Portuguese. Hapo pani kuna mti. Manake pale nitu mahali kwetu pa kukita ule mti. Mti huo umemea. Yani we've, we've grown stronger. Ile strength ya ule. Chona sasa they were talking in riddles. Mm. None other can understand them but they, uh, themselves. Sasa, ataka manake wale kulikuwa na informers just amongst us. Just like any other community kuna wengine they can be bought. Mm. So walikuwa wakisema hivu. E, mti huo umemea umemea pilipili. Mm. Manake sasa reinforcement yetu imemea za mti. E, na ule mti umemea, umemea pilipili na nitusha kuwa wakali. Mm. Yoshaona. E, pilipili, mtanga subiri. Kumi na mbili. Sa kumi na mbili refers to the 12 tribes of Mombasa. Yeah? The, we have the three tribes who lived. Um, the indigenous. The indigenous, they married with mm. others. Ambao ni watangana, wachangamwe, and wakilindeni. And these people were, be, were, 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 were to be found along the Mzimle. E, Mzimle ni kule, usually we had an incident here, ni along Mamangina waterfront, ili coming down to Liwatoni, to Kilindini. Kule. So there were people living in all oh, those yes, places? Oh yes, kule ata sivijuzi yeah. wame excavate uh, settlements zile, wame unasijui ni msikiti or something yeah. like that. So those were nini, like sasa wao walikuwa kukule zaidi. Mm. Na they were more so aligned to the Mijikendas of the south, ambao ni Digos, if I'm not wrong, and, and, and the Pokomos. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Alafu hawa, when they hawa mvita, mvita wa, wa, wa more so, sasa kule kwa itua Raserani. There's a promontory with a, which is a headland where the lighthouse stands. Mm, ya, yes, ya yes. Konesha in and uh, sasa ile ililetwa walikuwa kutoka zamani walikuwa nao ile mnara lakini alipokuja mwengereza akaweka ile akairect Konesha the in and outbound vessels which are going to, towards Kilindini or coming down to the yes. to the old port. So when mimi mtu akinaambia hakuna waswahili Nikamwambia if if you go back usitukue history ya kote just take history ya Mombasa. Mm. Hawa watu wa, walojenga hii miji wakaishi namna hivi hata watu wakaja wakasaidiana ku develop ushaona mm. hawa walikuwa watu gani if, if not Swahili na mm. ni watu about the head away of life. Maana kila wa, watu wanakuja kupata watu wa ready made. Hawakuja ku civilize people. And if we would shown. say that they are uh, exclusively I'm going to go back to that. Mm. If we say that they are exclusively a product of foreigners and Mijikendas, why don't we have the similar settlements in Mijikenda and the hinterlands as well? Because if it, it was so, then they would have those in their areas as well. Hasa, let me yeah. tell you something. Maybe I may sleep a bit, but the mm. uh, best way to define a people is uh, first of all through the language they yes. speak which is uh, commensurate to the habitat. Secondly, ni the places of worship and burial. Burial and worshipping places. Ambazo hizi ndro za identify a people ambao hawa ni watu na mnagani, maziko yao ya kovipi. Na ukitizama hawa walokuja, hawa the islanders ambao wakatukua na izi the other nine tribes. Mm. Each and every tribe wana 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 miskiti eh wana na wana na burial places yes yes yes, yes. Eh, ukenda hapo utambwe ni kwa wachangamwe mm -hmm. unless somebody who's from here eh, it will be not easy for you to understand manake sisi we uh, people tend to sum up the whole swahili picture mm -hmm. they just put us in a box these are the swahilis mm -hmm. We, without go, well, as I said, the, we are complex. We are a very complex society. Yes. You need to nitpick 
sometimes ushaona to get a better perspective as who am swahili is hasa suku hizi if i say kuna identity crisis mm -hmm. especially e, people on coast kwa sababu vile watu wengi wameingia sasa e, people tend to conform to some sort of uh, nini trend or a, I won't say religion kwa sababu waislamu wengi katika sisi sisi wa Swahili ataona maybe I, I look better if I call myself an Arab mm. well you are an Arab okay. uh, technically okay, you are an Arab no, okay, but who are you a rabuni uh -huh. who wish you were who wish maisha ya kiarabuni eh uh, huli chakula cha rabuni kuzungumzi lugha ya rabuni mm. and that matters wasema Kiswahili walala uswahili mamka uswahili harusi yako ya kiswahili matanga, matanga. yako ya kiswahili mm. so basically you can okay it's allowed to say i'm i'm i'm, I'm an arab swahili mm. yeah lakini why confuse yourself and confuse people what wa hinterland kila moja aji identify na it's not that ukisema kwa kuna wajaluo mm. havana tribes havana clans and that's exactly how swahilis are mm. ukisema wakikuyu that's just a sort of a uh, a bigger picture mm. ushaona hawa ni ni ni, ni, ni pseudo tribes or pseudo cl uh, yeah. ni, ni, ni clans ushaona which are all uh, ni, ni attached to the, the to the uh, a bigger one ushaona same as waswahili ushaona waswahili walikuwa na tribes eh? Uh, it doesn't necessarily you belong to a particular tribe lakini kuna generations za foreigners ambao washaishi hapa as i said kuna th uh, uh, three categories they have they've been ca classified as that so maybe we could go a little bit into that mm -hmm. uh, the indigenous the, the indigenous ones ambao ni the, the islanders wenyewe mm -hmm. walikuwa ni hawa watangana wachangamwe and wakilindini mm -hmm. You have the kilindini that's uh, mana, mana ya kilindi ni shimu. It's uh, we 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 we've just been uh, given that manake he used the incident. Uh, they saw how deep it was. Mm. So they knew manake from that time immemorial pale bangkuita kilindi ni kilindi ni kilindi lakini mswahili paka ite the other uh, nenda nenda nyumbani mm. basi pale ni kilindi ni mm. ushaon mm. kilindi deep sea yeah. it's deep. Ushaona. Manake it's unusual for an island to have a sort of a channel to be that deep. deep. Like it's say it's god made. Usually you'd have a reef and then to yeah, come to the deep. Yeah, it's god made. So, so so that's that's uh, that's uh, Kilindi. Yeah. And then you have the and then kisha is the promontories or headlands uh. on the island wakizara wakizita ras. Uh. It's 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 an Arabic word but I think it's sort of went to go in uh, in 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 swahili pia they had a similar thing but wakayita hiyo yo ras ushaona to bring to uh, to bring less uh, confusion so wale wakiishi kwenye ras serani up to huku kizingo and all mm. na hiyo kizingo wenyewe it meant a nene a close and like it goes round mm. and anyway, so it's kizingo Ushona. So, so these are little things about you if you need details into them you need to sit with a scholar or an expert into history ya yeah, Swahili or the, or the nini, who is well versed into the Swahili language Ushona. is this in the book of the origin of the Swahili would they have uh, uh, the, this no, as well? not really wale, wale, I, there are ni researchers about ni westerners mm. Ushona. i wish we had an in a local in in, in researchers or the swahilis themselves mm -hmm. like yes awajua kwa sababu ya being hit for so long wa swahili <laughs> they, they came a time wakawa they don't want to share anything of theirs of their cultures their traditions mtu akija atakutukua atakufanya paka istizai ile manake as i told you they'll just ushaona uh, lakini uh, they won't give you much information lakini as we went by and as the as the manake british came in wa hawa wakaanza kufanya studies za hawa watu hasa unfortunately some of them did this without uh, authentication from the swahilis themselves so be it a language or the tradition or the, the cultures and all that but that's so with forth. colonialism eh, sasa ile mtu ata atakupa information uh, according to his thoughts 
uh, lakini hapati ile confirmation i mean they needed to go back to the swahilis especially wale the elderly ambao wanazo zile fikra za zamani na manake wao walikuwa waki wakisemeshwa waki zile hadithi wakika siku hizi hatufanyi tena manake eh, that's a typical tra swahili tradition manake after maghrib at bed bedtime wakati kabla watoto wajalala mshaswali isha and all that the last prayer ile you are being prepared to go to bed so mutatolewa hadithi au wakizitangano wenyewe so lakini sisi most of these uh, stories they had a uh, um, moral impact and the historical impact manake kukwambia kwa watu wa zamani walikuwa hivi na adabu zao zilizo there's a song we normally uh, do in swahili weddings uh, yeah there's a song ambayo kwenye weddings ata kwenye when they're celebrating we have the by the way we have the swahili new year mm. uh, i don't think many people know that but uh, know that. Uh, you know there is a swahili new year yeah. and there's the islamic new calendar then we have the gregorian ambao shona say it's unfortunate kwa jabu sababu you cannot really e, e, sell your culture or your language without knowing your own history mm -hmm. ushaona mm -hmm. so you need to go back and and, and, and find out manake why we ha, why were we celebrating this uh, at what particular time why were the songs being sung at this particular time i still time? need you to sing though <laughs> oh okay i know what you mean <laughs> Ile, i think it's uh, it goes like nguvu za mwanangu za potea bure uh, umepata sahani umesahau sima za mivure yani if we translate that it's not direct but it's a connotation anyway uh, 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 of a child being raised from a humble background and once you become successful you you tend to forget uh, where you came from ushaona sasa ile kutia ile you forget your people you forget your cultures you forget your wanake everything and, and you've adapted to something else altogether hasa hiyo i think it must have come about for a reason yeah. ushaona yeah. it's a full it's a full na, 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 as i said ni poems but they made it uh, no <laughs> kwa sababu i don't know the other verses this is kama ya a verse which keep like in harusen mwaimba to the yes, point yes kuna kuna different songs and about they've yeah. cut them short ushaona kama he probably it's just a verse and then there's another the one lele, and then they go yeah, yeah. so yeah. ushaona so these yeah. are these are things which we need to revive ushaona mm -hmm. I hope and pray manake the county government set up a, a department whereby they can take in youth. It doesn't matter from whatever culture but you are teaching your culture the Swahili culture. It doesn't matter from what background. It's just an interest um, to somebody is interested in in in, in doing the Swahili uh, uh, dances and songs. Mm. Just take them in and teach them manake kuna Twarilandia kama manake we have similar dances and songs all along the the literal uh, literal states of, of the coast manake mm -hmm. from Kisima the Swahili mm -hmm. uh, not the coast going further down to South Africa but the Swahili coast mm -hmm. from Kisima you to 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 Mogadi and in to Mozambique mm -hmm. yeah so if they can do that manake they bakazi revive na wale wazee ambao walikuwa wakiziteza sana I mean, who used to manake they, they used to have occasions waki celebrate uh, during harvest time waki celebrate during the new year also we were farmers as well oh, yes i thought uh, we were lazy people to kwa chini ya miti to kwa ya na kwambia what we were the swahilis have been stereotyped ushaona all along lakini sasa for a reason it's all political ushaona i'd say it's political kwa sababu kumvunda mtu au kum, kumpokonya identity yake mwanzo wa mpokonya traditions and cultures and heritage and the language and you start selling it as your own yeah. ambapo kwa nyinyi eh, as i said when the uh, i don't want it to go, i want i don't want the conversation to go into that but it's unfortunate that it has to yeah. kwa sababu eh, we've we've had so many attacks ushaona sa yeah. Uh, maybe i don't know in the long run that's my feel kuwa uh, in the long run kuwa naona fadhali okay let them do what they want kisha si batakwenda zao eh lakini at the same time we were smart enough to take in whatever they brought in mshaona 
Uh, I remember you, uh, going back to the farming, I remember you telling me that uh, the only reason why we didn't work during the day was because of the way the weather is. Yes. It's very hot mm. and in most instances people <coughs> would work very early in the morning, be mm. at the farms, mm. then they would uh, rest because of the heat. You'd mm. probably get dehydration mm. from mm. working mm. in this heat. Yes. So then they would go back in the evening as well. So probably the foreigners that came in or the upcountry people that came in presumed that to be a sense of laziness and for us it was a smart way of working actually. Yes, I would yeah. say that, yeah, kwa sababu by nature, eh, the Sahilis, you, you find them by the coast, right? Manake, yeah. ukitukua the climes, manake, it's, it's hot, mm. it's humid, it can really make you uncomfortable working in, 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 in midday's heat, mm. or yeah. the early afternoon heat. Uwezi yeah. kufanya kazi, shona. So, from time immemorial, manake kutoka siku hizo, Kabla the technical age we are talking about now, yeah. the Swahilis tended to work manake. Wakishamka timing zao zaidi ni from uh, as early as 3 a.m. in the morning. Mtu wa shamka, pengine tuseme let's talk about a fisherman. Ata prepare his gear, ushona, ata veka tayari, angoje for the first call to, to prayer, ile the early morning mm -hmm. prayer. And akaswali, and then they're out in the sea. Yeah. You, you don't see them. Yes. Waenda into the deep sea, manake sasa walikuwa hawana vessels ambao they could take them further out. Walikuwa zile unless you had a jahazi or a big dow. Laki sasa vile walikuwa na canoes na katamaran zile zaidi. Or they would work in, 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 in groups ambao they'll build a big jahazi and going to the deep sea. Alafu coming back around kama times uh, mid morning vile. Yeah. Or late, mid, uh, late morning vile. And, and they and, and they about the supply watu with the whatever catch they may have had, and then utona watu wazungusha wale samaki. Manake midday pale so that for the ladies home wapati chakula chakupika for the for the nini mid or mid afternoon pale sazit watu atoka kazi na atoka schooli and what have you. So the afternoons were left for resting kwa sababu ya heat, na ile getting up very early in the morning. And then by maybe, bengine manake by jioni, ushone, they start preparing again. Yes, yes. Uh, same with the farmers, I would yeah. say. Manake, we had these small shambas on the island, aside from the bigger ones on the mainlands. Manake, they had scattered viungas, about small uh, fruit and vegetable farms mm -hmm. all along Mambasa. Manake, zamani, mjiwa uh, Mambasa was just... Uh, it didn't go beyond the Portuguese wall, which was built uh, in the 15th or maybe late 14th century there. And I huku kote kulikuwa ni mashamba. Mpaka kule kilindi ni paka wapen, they used to take, they used to, kuma nengwa likuwa na crossings. Is uh, vi canoes, is vi hori and, and uh, vingalawa. Uh, all along, ata huku pande wanyali, pia there's a place called Maduba. That's a landing for, 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 for the fishermen, first of all. New Zealand fishing, Zilkwani kama fishing villages on fishing, uh, fish, uh, fishermen's landings, New Zealand. Uh, as, as the Mji grew with the coming of the railway, Mushona, as our Hindi people were going to be able to let their mambo yao, with infrastructure, uh, na nini nyumba hizi utaona, zituka sort of, yeah. Uh, sort of modernized, if you like, uh, the, our, our, our carvings uh, in a, a way of, 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 of uh, putting up a structure, ushaona. Kwa sababu wa wankuja na experience yao, wawana na technique yao wakatufundisha. That's how we learn. Our Swahili ni learners, wa usazote manake. Whoever comes in, wawawata, very generous people, manake, they took in so many people. So, so I guess the, if we are to wrap it up, mm. um, I think the identity crisis experienced by a mm, lot most, of youth uh, mm, yeah, mm. Uh, would be helped if we did a lot of this Swahili culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, one of the things is that, yeah. Manake, if we, we can revive and bring... There's this Dagwaride, which, which is up to now, you have Ilebeni. Yeah. Whenever, ile, it's a culture which has come before what we have now. Manake kulikuwa na groups wakifanya hizi bands. 
na kina hiyo you won't find that anywhere in East Africa except for Mombasa kwenye harusi utapata bwana harusi awe escorted with that warithe eh na sasa at least tukiwa na hizi charity walks so what we are escorted by those bands ushaona yeah. sasa zile zilikuweko zamani wakifanya competitions ushaona aside from ceremonial ushaona okay okay wakifanya competitions between this band and the other band ushaona walikuwa na theater groups ambao wakiact walikuwa na ngoma zao ambao pia waki compete a yeah. group here to the other ushaona so if if we are to conclude this i'd like to quote professor haidar uh, in one of his papers he said uh, in short swahilis have absorbed genetic sires which are the foreigners uh, from a wide ethnic spectrum uh, but have pegged these to a common african uh, linguistic and cultural uh, base and despite the fact that we've taken in his mambo uh, yote the swahilis have um, have resolutely manake maintained uh, their linguistic and cultural li uh, integrity which is now I it's it's not to that degree we had but it's still there yes. uh, at least we have it there yeah. i think with that we've we've talked a little bit so <laughs> it's 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 a very wide subject but if we can take it in bits maybe it's uh, it will be easier for people to digest it and understand who exactly they are especially the uh, the swahilis i'll call them swahilis mm -hmm. who have uh, sort of uh, uh, they, they we have as you said an identity crisis now we don't really know how to identify kwa sababu tulikuwa tukambo ukisema wewe ni mswahili utasema ni mkosa kabila Mm -hmm. So only in all, if we take this small quote from Professor Haidar, I think what what are to accept who they are, yeah. and okay, it's 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 some for, form of you know sort of integrity yes. to you, yeah. kwa, knowing who you are and why you are so, mm. yeah. Okay, to finalize on that, um, I think we've all learned quite a lot about the Swahili culture and being a Swahili, the concept of being a Swahili, uh, which I think many of us didn't know much about it and uh, we tend to refuse our identity. So hopefully you'll get much from this and uh, all the information will be on the website as well and any other literal material to do with the Swahili books, please feel free to visit the website. Mimi ni Nusrat Muhammad, najivunia kuwa mswahili. Je wewe?